This was just a train wreck of a video. <laughs> do not do 30 days of green smoothies. It's smoothie time! Dink! Mm -hmm. So, welcome back to Ladies and Lattes. We're doing another 30 day long challenge. So today's not really Ladies and Lattes, it's Ladies and Smoothies. Ladies and Green Smoothies! Green. We're gonna be drinking green smoothies every day for the next 30 days. You can do whatever kind of smoothie you want, it just has to have like a big handful because of Because let's be honest, greens. if we say we have to drink this one recipe for 30 days, it's get gonna so get tired super old. I would say as many vegetables as you can, as many greens as you can, but it has to have at least some greens in it because I don't necessarily want to drink like a fruit smoothie every day because that's a lot of sugar. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to do like all green smoothies sometimes. Wow. Yeah. Sounds we're gonna like go for this. even more of a challenge. And Jess had a really good idea. She what? whipped out, so she made this smoothie for me, mm -hmm. which is pretty delicious. It's kind of got a weird graham cracker taste. <laughs> I mean, that was the protein I used. So she whipped out her pre-packaged smoothie stuff that she just bagged put, and freeze them. Put in a Ziploc and put it in the freezer, so yeah. it was already ready to go. And I think we'll that's show you brilliant. Guys. Anytime I've tried to do smoothies before, it's always like very even it's like though a they're chore. even though they're easy, it's like it's still cutting the ingredients or like getting everything them out. out putting yeah, it's it a lot out. of work. Mm -hmm. If you want to make sure there's a lot of good ingredients in it, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I thought that was a really good idea. What are some things that you expect to happen or that you want to happen over these next 30 days? Any goals that you want um, to achieve? We are the same experience like gut problems mm -hmm. related to like food, and I feel like if I could drink one green smoothie a day that would help with like some bloating and like gut problems that yeah. I have. Maybe energy, I'm gonna try to pay attention to the energy, energy that levels. I have. Energy levels, that's a good um, idea. I think for me, like my skin's okay right now, mm -hmm. but every once in a while I'll have flare ups due to like hormones or the things that I'm eating. Like so acne. I'm, mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that by putting something really good into my body consistently, I'll see differences in maybe my complexion or like mm -hmm. the brightness of my skin. Also, I feel like we've noticed in all of our other 30 day beauty challenge videos that by doing one thing good for yourself, it makes you, it makes you kind of do other things good. Mm -hmm. So I think and I hope that I'll be paying more attention to my diet in general mm -hmm. and what I put into my body, um, so, especially by starting off the day with something really good. So not good. necessarily like weight loss, I frequently feel bloated mm -hmm. and just almost like water retention. Yeah, I've so noticed I'm, in some of our past videos like when I'm bloated and when yeah, I'm very much not bloated. Yeah. And although my weight is exactly the same, mm -hmm. like the two differences are huge. Like yeah. bloat and water weight is a big thing. So energy, maybe bloat, mm -hmm. gut, water retention, and then, and then overall habits. Skin and overall habits yeah. of diet. I've been wanting to do a 30 day smoothie challenge for like ever, but Me I've too. never had a reason to do it. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a reason. A reason. <laughs> It's a reason to just want to do it, but mm -hmm. you're doing it with me, so I'm like, okay, I have to drink my smoothie because Jess is drinking her smoothie yeah. and mm -hmm. I have to do it. So, and I'm gonna make my husband do it because he needs more smoothies in his life. <laughs> well, we will update you guys as we go and we'll see you back in the studio in 30 days. See you then. So I wanted to just show you guys some of the things that I put together last night. I'm really kind of excited about this whole thing. I think it's just gonna make me get into a better habit of eating healthy in general. So what I did yesterday was I froze a bunch of bags. This is only like half of them. I made a bunch of different bags full of, some of them just have kale and bananas and chia seeds. I did some with kale and spinach and mango and chia seeds. So my idea with the kale and banana ones, um, I have some frozen berries in the freezer and I'm just gonna, you know, switch it up every so often. Do some berry ones, some tropical mango ones, just to kinda keep it a little bit interesting. So this whole shelf in my freezer is now dedicated to smoothie packs. It'll make it really easy, hopefully. I'm hoping to just grab it, throw it in a blender with some almond milk and call it good. Good morning, lattes. I'm on day eight. So I pre-packaged my smoothie stuff, put it in the freezer, and then I've been using oat milk, cashew milk, or almond milk, blending it up. And I also put a drop of turmeric oil for inflammation. Woo! I have such powerful smoothies that I freaking broke my blender. You killed the smoothie. No. You killed the smoothie maker. <laughs> I am the smoothie maker. <laughs> Look at this. I burned it up. It's too fat. But look how delicious this looks. Mmm, smells like berries. Mm. 
So we're like a week into the smoothie challenge and for like the past two days, my stomach has been all gurgly and not feeling great. I don't know if it's coincidence or maybe it is the smoothies that are kind of upsetting my stomach. I don't know. I've been taking Pepto since last night and it seems to be helping a little bit, so we'll see. I did read that sometimes too much kale, raw kale specifically, can cause like stomach issues. This video just took a weird turn. I'm gonna see how the next few days play out and depending, I might stop this early if it doesn't get any better. I did switch it up a little bit from my original smoothie, which was the mango and pineapple. I took out the mango and pineapple and added some cherries in it. I don't know if that's gonna hurt or help to be honest, but we'll see. So remember this morning when I was telling you guys I was gonna figure out the next few days and then play it from there? No, I am ending this now. My stomach is hating me right now. I will continue with the smoothies but I am cutting out the kale. I don't know what else could be wrecking my stomach like this. I've never had issues like this before, and I've had a lot of issues with my stomach. None like this. So for my health and my sanity, I am calling it quits on the kale. Not doing this anymore. This has not been a pleasant experience. And as of now, I would say don't even think about doing green kale smoothies. I'm almost like crying right now because I'm really bugged and my stomach hurts. So to recap, to clarify, I am cutting out the kale. I've done green smoothies in the past with just with just spinach, so I think that is what I'm gonna do. I just can't, I, I would have never imagined that a healthy green smoothie would give me these problems, like bloating, issues going to the bathroom, like it's all, either one side of the spectrum or the other, like there's no in between. I'm gonna stop there before it's like way too much information. <laughs> I'm giving this kale another try just cause I had all the things frozen already and I don't have any that are just spinach. We did have to go to Wyoming just for like a few days and I did not have a blender or any of my green stuff. So I have failed on this 30 day challenge. I, I It's been like three or four days and I didn't have a green smoothie, but I am back on it and praying that this kale doesn't wreck me. This time, instead of protein powder, I put plain Greek yogurt. It still has a lot of protein in it, um, just a little bit different than the protein powder. There it is. Still really yummy. To be completely honest, the Greek yogurt makes it a little bit better in my opinion. It's a little bit creamier and like thicker, but I like my shakes thick rather than runny. We're like two weeks in or three weeks in. It's not been going so well. I mean, it's been okay, but my first problem is when I meal prepped all of the ingredients in the freezer Ziplocs, I packed way too much stuff in there. So even between my giant husband and I, the smoothies were ginormous. So I got through all of my freezer prep meals and now today I'm just making one from scratch. I'm trying to make it smaller because it was like so much to drink and I was literally making my Myself sick drinking these every day. Jess and I both have had like gut problems since we started this and my hormones are out of whack. Like all of these zits, I don't usually get this many zits and I don't know if this is making me like detox or what, but I am like all kinds of zitty. And I feel like in a way it's been good because it's making me eat smaller meals like in the morning time. I don't eat as big of a breakfast and I've had like kind of three breakfasts, which I think is good. Energy wise, I feel like my energy has been, I guess a little bit higher. I'm not yawning as much. It's been an interesting experience. So I'm gonna try a different recipe than I was doing and see if I like it a little bit better because I was kind of getting sick of it. I'm doing baby chard, kale, and spinach. So I'm, it's not that different, but it's adding in the chard. And here's my smoothie today. I'm trying to go smaller. So I have greens in here. I have a scoop of vanilla protein powder. I have a frozen banana so that it's cold. And then I have some fresh raspberries for my garden. And I also have a powdered supplement. Also, my freezer bags were so ginormous that I couldn't fit them in my bullet. You saw my bullet like broke, so I've been using my Ninja, my big one, and it's been working a lot better. It's more like a brown smoothie. Bottoms up! 
Mm, definitely has a different taste than the other ones I've been making. So it tastes better. Hey weirdo. Hey weirdest. <laughs> We've got our coffee in hands today. No more smoothies. Thank the Lord Jesus. I am so <laughs> mad. Go ahead, tell me all about your digestive issues that you're having now. <sighs> this was just a train wreck of a video. <laughs> Do not do 30 days of green smoothies. I don't know if I was putting too much kale in mine, but within like four, five days, my body was hating me. I and it hasn't it, really gone away. It took me a little a bit longer. Later. I was feeling pretty good for like you were a week like, and a half. I was telling her about my issues. Weeks, I was and like, she hey. was like, oh really? I'm loving this. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's the frequency or the recipe. I at first had like a really complicated recipe. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to simplify it because I don't know if that's making my body mad or what. Just digestive problems all day long. <laughs> Maybe it's coincidence. If, you know, ladies, like the time of the month can sometimes play around with that but it's been well, fairly consistent for me and I haven't seen these types of issues in two plus years like yeah. cramps and just like pain and just, just went on a kick I went before on she a got gut pregnant health she was kick. like gut health doing all this stuff and I'll tell you what I resolved so many problems by doing like a pretty strict cleanse and I was able to eat anything I wanted without issue. Now I'm back to, oh, can't eat that because it's probably going to make me feel like my stomach's burning. I want to know why it didn't work for us because I have expected to be like, oh, we lost weight and I, and feel, I feel so great. great. I feel so energized. My skin and, cleared up. And yes, some things were better, but overall, not for me. I mean, I felt more energy. Did did you? Yeah, did you feel like you No, because like four days in, I needed to lay down because my stomach was in pain. Yeah. I really think for me it was the kale because everything else I was putting in the smoothies was fairly typical. Did you do the whole 30 days? I missed some days because I, I just couldn't like... I threw in the flag like a week and a half ago. <laughs> but I, I remember when we sat down to film this video right from the get-go, I was like, oh yeah, starting off my day like with something green and healthy and it's gonna make me be more conscious the rest of the day. But it kind of did the opposite to me. I was like, oh, I ate all my veggies this morning. I don't need to be as careful the rest of the day. After I started realizing I was doing that, then I started kind of being more conscious about what I was eating the rest of the day but it took a good week or so for me to like get on board for yeah. me it kind of threw off my eating schedule in general because I usually have a fairly good sized breakfast mm -hmm. and if I had my smoothie in the morning then I couldn't eat my big breakfast so yeah. it just kind of pushed everything out it just kind of like made my eating different yeah and I don't know if that's not, not a good way or a bad way, just, just different. different. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to like add smoothies because mm -hmm. every now and then I'll be like, I did until smoothie. now. And my husband and I will make smoothies every now and then, but they're not green smoothies. He makes yeah. like strawberry fruit. fruit smoothies. I would rather have a green smoothie every so often, but it just, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't, I don't want to touch them. I don't know about that. this 30 like, day thing. Bottom line, my whole experience with this is just like everything else, like moderation. Do moderation. <laughs> We're too extreme. I, don't, I, think. I know, but that's like when I get onto like a kick of something, I get extreme and I'm all gung ho. And on that note, our next video, <laughs> Our next 30 day challenge is not in moderation whatsoever. We are going to be doing the squat challenge next, so stay tuned if you guys want to see that. We're going to get some meat pies going on. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoy this. Just be careful if Don't you decide drink green to do smoothies. the green smoothies. Just be <laughs> aware that it might disrupt your life. But I feel like it's a good point to make that not every diet or trendy thing is like good for it's everybody. Not, yeah. I'm some sure plenty are, of people have done a 30 day green smoothie and they and felt fantastic right. after. Yeah. But for some reason you and I, our it gut did me. not agree. Wrecked so me. I don't know, maybe we need to do it longer. No, no, no. Okay. No, we need to. On to the spots. <laughs> See you next Thanks, time. Thanks, ladies.